What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Louisiana Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, these chaps looked like they were heading southeast towards Bengal, but now I've reinforced Bengal, they've decided to head northwest, straight into the forces of Benoit Augereau. Augereau. So we're going to hunker down and defend and blow the crap out of them with all of our artillery, and I think it's going to go pretty well. So let's take them out. And once we fought them, we can then just chase the armies down and auto-resolve them into oblivion. Because once they've... Well, once they've been... Once most of their forces have been killed, it seems a bit... Uh, unnecessary to then keep manually fighting uh, battles against uh, dregs. Or the leftovers of an army. So let's put the... Two units of infantry. Ah, okay, right. You deploy forward, so I don't get stuck behind stuck behind these uh, little huts. What I do want to do is group together my 18 pounders together, so that they are like units. There we go. Then let's group my 12 pounders together on the other flank. Again, because I've set some of them to unlimbered, it got a bit funny. And there we go, then let's spread out this light infantry, give everyone trenches. Ah, I stole one of the middle units, no matter. So we have to steal one back on the left. Or steal one back from the right to position them on the left. So we need to be ready with our cavalry. We've got company cavalry. They're not terrible. They're not terrible, but you know, they're not. They ain't cuirassiers either. They have their limits. So let's dump our howitzers around. General in the centre. My, my, my artillery, my howitzers, aim at units that aren't um, field, art field artillery because we got howitzer, we, we got foot artillery, we got regular artillery for that. Okay, here comes the Zemindari horsemen, they're charging in. Ready? Aim. Fire! Stopping, they're not stopping either. Okay, the field artillery has been destroyed. There we go, the horsemen will, will get knocked out. You, know, you keep round shotting, you guys have got a canister shot, you need to seek warriors. And these men, oh, I have to maximize my quick climb fire on the left flank for now. The enemy reinforcements are coming in from the left. Get these units to fire well off. Dervishes have gone right out on the flank, but they are being engaged. The canister shot is coming right at you. The elephants are coming into the mix. So attack them just a little bit more because they're all so close and then let's run my cavalry away so my infantry can fire at will because the elephants are coming in! Ok, 
Okay, routing General's Elephant Unit is pretty dope. Deploy the cannon. Deploy the uh, deploy the, ca the cavalry. There we go. So we surrounded and engulfed the enemy general. But let's make sure we redirect our artillery fire. The Sea Musketeers did not like that. You guys engage the 12 pounders at max range. Don't need to go too crazy with my tactics just yet. I don't like how you've not pivoted. Yeah, so they've caught up some of my cavalry, so I want to run my cavalry back through my square formation. So try not to run my cavalry straight into the yellies. Run my cavalry straight through. Good, they routed just when they touched my cavalry. Come on, camels. Now oh, they've routed. Okay, try chase one of them down with some camels. Come on, guardsmen. Just hold off until we can win and knock out these chaps. Then my cavalry will be free to push on. Let's hope the breaking of one this one unit will cause the other to cascade. Okay, they're being sliced and diced. Okay, you come back then if that's not if you're not gonna chase them down. Okay, I'll to the unit. Start to round shot the general, these two units start to hit troops coming in. You guys start to pound those dervishes. Come on. You guys take position there to engage the general. My cavalry need to push past and hit the seat musketeers to give them a bit of help. To give my guardsmen a bit of help. The guardsmen have routed. Bring the general in. The camels are coming back. With dervishes this time. So the hope is I could secure the right flank and do this. There we go. Fight the Seed Musketeers, try and make them rout. Then slaughter them a little bit more. Then all of you hit the Seed Warriors. You guys can open fire onto those troops there. Camels have been sucked into the square formation along with the unit of pikemen, which will be a bit scary. The general's been seen off. So now I can begin to pivot my army around. Come on, 100, the 108th Takiri fall. You guys get back in the square. D 
don't want to push any men into that fight. There you go, and the cavalry's been knocked out. Well, the Sikh warriors have been knocked out. Okay, then you guys form square and become prepared to be the next run. Prepare to be the next uh, the next breakwater. So this position's going to be lost, so one of the heavier units with the heavy howitzers I've got on the other flank can engage that combat there and attempt to try and kill a bunch of camels even accepting there is some friendly fire. guys have hit the, my guardsmen as well. One unit left behind. There we go, here comes the quick climb. A friendly fire quick climb I accept. But now the camels are over that side. <laughs> that wasn't even a good friendly fire. One square guardsman. There we go. Let's bring those guys into the Hindu warriors. They're after my general. Those camels were successfully. They were instrumental in breaking up the breaking up the attack on my troops. Okay, you guys chase down the dervishes. So new men line up and reload. Uh -oh, they're coming in. You guys come over to help fight the Hindu warriors. Oh, that's a Big nasty quick climb in the middle there. Understandable. My men did not like that. Who's that back there? Foot artillery. There you go, then my general can run straight after him to try and knock out the foot artillery while everyone else chases down the, their associated targets. These guys have come in, but get ready. My general, go take out their artillery. The Hindu warriors should fall to my swarm of cavalry. We may lose some men, but that's an acceptable loss. Let's just stop all my artillery now. There. Let's speed up time. And we are going to continue. Okay, go after them instead then. It's weird I can't... There we go. Clear out those chaps. We only have eight men that was nearly broken. Chase down those warriors. Yeah, we managed to run them. <laughs> we managed to make them run so fast they broke. But there we go, got a lot of cavalry here to knock out this dervish contingent. There's ten men remaining. Well, there's a couple fewer now. There is the oh man, they just routed. There's a unit on this 
Horizon, so it is just this last dervish. Close victory. Yeah, it was a bit dodgy, I must admit. Nothing a bit of replenishment can't cope with. Yeah, there we go. They've gone down to from 6,400 to 1,600. They're not going to be much more than an annoying raiding force. But of course, we still need to fight them because... Uh, well, <clears throat> well, we still need to engage them because they have a lot of men on the field, but they can't they can't uh, manage those losses anywhere near to the level that they used to be able to. Catholic missionary in Mysore. This guy's pretty good. To Punjab with you, sir. Okay, so this guy's on his way to Udaipur. So you will need to be hit. Yes. You men are replenishing. A on a mission. Ready okay, well you're on the way up to Lahore to put the territory. I'm not even demand demand surrender there. No. Okay. Because I want to get at the ready. Gaston Mansart up to Srinagar. Get my agent up to the Kabul border. This guy can auto resolve that last. Yeah, the broken force. Proud and victorious. Ready, yes. and Ready. probably the same here. The yeah. Victory. Make they the too team. have been destroyed. At the ready. Okay, so you need these Make men. Ready. There we go. So now this army is ready to push up. As is this army, up to probably like this hill here. Could probably run up a infantry unit to support them as well. But we're in a pretty good position. I'd like these guys to replenish a little bit more before attacking there. But I am kind of concerned about this. Although, well, it's a lot of melee troops. So we could dump you guys out of Gurjarat into a Daipur to hold them off. We could build some cannon. Probably build some guard decor and cuirassiers back here. The rune has been fortified and they have not tried to push yet, which is surprising. But now might be the time to push on Nagpur. Because they've got limited resources and fewer men uh, in reserve to uh, support. So let's take the city. Soon we're going to be in a position where we have every territory of the Mughals under siege. And then in one turn we can just knock them out one after another. And then that'll be India secured. All those roaming armies we've got on the field will vanish and everything will be everything will be right with the world and then we can smash straight into Persia and the Ottoman Empire okay my artillery is going to be up here hucking shells at long range how it says we'll be a bit closer so let's create two wings of troops They're going to pursue either side of the town. We've got cavalry that can scout around inside. Inside the towns. General's going to be on the right flank. And then let's... Ooh, okay. So my right wing may actually not hold, but just annoy... We'll just destroy the levee that's entering on the right. To be honest, they're all entering from the right, so I might give these chaps some urgency. And because they're not actually trying to defend the town, let's bring the guard de corps up as well. See, the question is, will they run away or towards us? Probably away from us, if 
they had any sense. Why not pick every? Yeah, I didn't think so. So the mortars have engaged. My quick climbing how it says can focus fire their mortars. Yeah, they are running away from us. It's that understandable. Makes sense. I do see the enemy cavalry on the left. Kick my guard to core into gear because they will beat their cavalry easy as. Slowly whittling down their crews. Okay, good. That aggressive push did spur them into action. These four units continue to progress. Okay, let's get my cavalry over here. So these two units can engage the levee. Sound problems down. Where are you charging? There we go. Who are you charging? Very well, and I'll just do that. Okay, the horsemen skirmishing us push up my line run a guard decor in to fight the eastern garrison or to fight the garrison mortars let's also switch to round shot and begin to attack other parts other parts of their line pivot flank the corner of this unit in bring my cavalry further in as well just a, just just annihilating the levy so those Hindu musketeers yeah they are good let's try and run these guys up in a position that actually there we go, so that's those mortars destroyed, so let's fall my men back. The horsemen are falling to our persistent musketry. My field artillery. Engage over here, same with my howitzers. So part of the way this is going to work is pushing up my my left flank enough that I support my right which is at a slight disadvantage god the damn levy came back as well go on general you have them so I've got my artillery engaging them they got more mortars to the rear so the idea is if I keep ooh pike man eh So these men, they should have enough time. Okay, now, now they'll have enough time. Engage those damn pikes. There's a lot of artillery is dropping in this area of the battlefield, which is what's causing their morale to be so distraught. Okay, good. So let's wheel these flanks around like so to fire across the line into the flanks of the garrison musketmen. No, nope, that's them gone as well. Run my heavy cavalry around the rear. Yeah, the morale is... The morale problem is pretty severe. 
got some cavalry coming in, but that's why I've added a little tail to my line here. Get my artillery to engage their remaining cavalry. So we've successfully... It's funny, really. I thought it was the... the right that would need my support, but actually, it turns out, my right... Oh, God damn, even their cavalry just immediately broke. Ah, my general fell. He fell to levy. Nasty way to go. Okay, how it says quick climb. Oh, okay, hold on. I mean, round shot. Islamic swordsman. Oh, it's because a K Zimandari horseman unit came in. That makes more sense. Pikemen are pushing around the flank. Cavalry is just having a whale of a time. So now most of these men come about to face the enemy. Silly way to lose a general, but eh. Gotta lose him somehow. So my cavalry is going to harry everyone this side of the line to make sure that they stay dead. There we go. The horsemen are going to be intercepted. There's a couple of units, there's a unit of firelock arm populace that's sticking around. Field artillery all engage. God, those guys are broken from artillery alone. You guys hit the musketmen there. Mortar crews have come back. Push up again. Bring my cavalry to bear. My infantry advance. And my cavalry will hit two fangy. This wing is probably going to rotate back because it looks like they are gathering strength in that in this back corner. And my guard de corps are going to have words with those two fangy. Bring this cavalry back over here. We're not going to really need them to pen in these troops. with important and critical musketry. There we go. Let's pivot the right wing up. Yeah, my guys are winning decisively because these are just regular chaps with Muskets, long muskets, but muskets. Is that my swordsmen are falling due to our musketry? The mortars have gone. The cavalry will hit the two fangy here. Redirect my artillery fire. Okay, my howitzers can continue to engage over here. You guys fight the dervishes. Dervishes are pretty good, but now they've got no defense. But they're just not very capable units. They were previously, but now, now no longer. Fire my cavalry in. Let's rotate these units. So as my cavalry smash into this armed populace unit, the, these infantry don't fire into that combat. They'll shoot at these guys. In comes the glorious Louisiana heavy cavalry. Just 
to be honest. Looks like I might just charge them in here as well. Charge in some infantry there. Sweet. I think that is everybody destroyed. Awesome. So Nagpur, after turns and turns of turns of it being surrounded by Louisiana infantry, is now ours. Prepare the troops for battle. So let's build the city. Let's pick up a new general. Leopold Beaumarchais. Your new name is Apu de Beaumarchais. Sir. You ought to resolve like this them. little stack. Undaunted. Make sure Undefeated. they don't go anywhere they shouldn't. Yes, my lord. So you might actually move more here to try and block this guy in case he tries to go south west southeast. Okay, this army is back here. Move up. Let's steal this unit of elite infantry. To fully fit them out. Got Punjab fight, the Akbarabad fight. At the ready. <laughs> One more turn. Uh, what condition are you in? in? Variable. Variable condition, that's what you are. Uh, okay, you've got a bit of support from this guy. So I'm tempted to drop some troops like that over to Udaipur. Give them a bit more firepower against um, Zulfikar Singh. We have limited cavalry. Lots of troops in the centre. Although it's tempting to just fight. Settlement this one, because they will not demand, they will not surrender. However, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching you guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for Theodore's march into Lahore in the territory of Punjab. Cheers, everyone.